and the Chinese are eager to check out the equipment. Demand for Japan's advanced technology is high in China. We'll consider introducing Japanese products if they're good. China is grappling with serious air pollution. Most of it comes from the exhaust emissions of cars and smoke billowing from factories. This prompted some Japanese manufacturers to set up plants in China to make air conditioners. With air pollution such a problem, more Chinese firms are installing equipment that cleans the air. Japan's environmental protection technologies were developed using lessons learned from its past anti-pollution efforts. Such technologies appear to be matching the needs of the fast-growing Chinese market. As well as concentrating on environmental protection, this firm is moving into medical technologies. That's because demand is projected to grow as China's society ages. The company set up a new research and development hub for medical equipment in Dalian last year. The firm has hired more than 200 graduates, mainly with science and technology degrees from Chinese universities, and is working to develop products that cater to Chinese needs. Following the meeting between the two leaders, company officials hope that Japan-China relations will improve soon. We hope that better bilateral relations would help to further benefit our business performance. Chinese need certain kinds of advanced technologies. Japan can provide them. For both sides, it's a win-win situation that's not being sacrificed amid tensions between the two governments. Populous, prosperous, pushing ahead. China's rise brought it wealth, power, and problems. An income gap divides its people. Pollution threatens their health. And differences over territory strain relations with its neighbors. Find out the challenges China faces on Newsline. Police in Western Japan have arrested a woman on suspicion that she killed her husband. They believe she poisoned him with cyanide, and they are looking into a similar case involving the suspect. Chisako Kakehi is 67. She was taken into custody in Kyoto. She denies killing her 75-year-old husband, Isao. Last December, Chisako called an ambulance after finding Isao unconscious in their home. He was later pronounced dead. We have detected cyanide in the victim's blood. That led to today's arrest. Police confiscated material containing cyanide from a site linked to Chisako. Experts say ingesting a small amount of the poison can be deadly. People close to the couple say the two met through a matchmaking service. Isao died one month after they got married. In March, Chisako proclaimed her innocence. How would I get the poison? There is no way I would commit a murder. Police have reopened an investigation into the death of one of Chisako's acquaintances. The 71-year-old man died two years ago. Police originally thought he died after he fell off his motorcycle, but they have since found traces of cyanide in a stored blood sample. Sako has also denied involvement in that death. Now, scientists studying data from a European probe that landed on the surface of a comet last week say they are finally getting results. They say comet 67P consists of ice covered in a layer of dust and the temperature is bitterly cold. The lander Philae was launched by the European Space Agency 10 years ago on board an unmanned spacecraft. The goal was to land it on the comet from where it would send back information. However, Philae was only able to collect a certain amount of data before the probe's batteries ran out. Still, scientists say the data shows the comet's surface is made up of ice covered in a layer of dust 10 to 20 centimeters thick. The temperature is about minus 170 degrees Celsius. The scientists also say the probe detected organic molecules on the surface. <laughs> 